is cooking. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to an impromptu episode of the WWE Wrestling Talk Show with Reese Ralph Jones and... What a wonderful world oh, oh, we are in with professional wrestling and WWE in general. Professional wrestling can sometimes be... A world of ups, a world of downs, and a world of what the heck. Well, we were good, but we were greeted because of absolute chaos. Yeah, yeah, yes, we people will remember that uh, just over two years ago, on February 8th, 2016, Daniel Bryan was forced to announce his retirement from professional wrestling due to uh, a series of concussions and was told that he would never be cleared to wrestle again. Then of course we all know that a couple of months later on July 18th when the brand split was uh, Really introduced into WWE, the SmackDown Live commissioner Shane McMahon announced him as SmackDown Live general manager. Although he has been in ever since, he also during this time co-hosted the WWE Network special Talking Smack with the the Mayan, interviewing the SmackDown Live superstars after the uh, show. However, during all of this time, there were certain people who would never give up hope that Daniel Bryan would somehow, some way, find a way to be cleared and return to the land. And for those of us who have watched Total Bowers and Total Divas, we would have seen the personal struggles he went through during these times and how his wife and now mother of his child, Brie Bella aka Brie Danielson, was there to support him and encourage him to go and see specialist after specialist after specialist. And eventually, after knocking and knocking and knocking, two years after trying so hard, the WWE were able to uh, relook at his case. And then, finally, a few days ago, on Tuesday, March 20th, 2018, a miracle happened, and no, we are not talking about what happened at WrestleMania 30, although that was a miracle in its own right. It was. On, the, on March 20th, Daniel Bryan was officially cleared by three external independent neurologists. 
and concussion experts as well as Joseph Maroon, a doctor for WWE, to officially return to in-ring competition, which means that Daniel Bryan can finally get back to action in the WWE. And that is a very big resounding yes, 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 yes. Yes, yeah, so the yep movement of Dan- of Zami Zayn and uh, Kevin no. Owens can step aside because the Yes movement is back. In full effect. Now, now we should ask ourselves, what does this mean? What kind of uh, schedule will he be wrestling? We don't really know that at the moment. However, I'm pretty sure that there are certain matches that uh, we would like to see. For instance, AJ Styles vs. Shinsuke Nakamura was considered a dream match in WWE and will be happening in just over two weeks at WrestleMania. Yes, two weeks from now. Now, Daniel Bryan versus both of those men, I would consider a dream match. If you had all three of them in a triple threat match, I would consider that a dream match. Yes, I would too. There are so many more matches with uh, all the talent which is in WWE these days, which... It's possible. I mean, dare I dare I go far to say that Daniel Bryan versus Kurt Angle would be a good match? Yes, you are speaking quite a very good match there. But for what appears to be in the foreseeable future for Daniel Bryan is a return to the show of shows. In two weeks, at WrestleMania, and just to think, how appropriate is it that on the, this happens on the road to WrestleMania, and how even more appropriate is it that WrestleMania comes at us from the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, the site four years ago. Where Daniel Bryan defeated not only Triple H, but Randy Orton and Batista in one night to become the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And the Yes Movement was truly born. Now, the reason we're saying this is, is because that appears to be the scheduled uh, rumours going around at the moment. Due to events Yes, we the rumoured or the plan as it looks like at the moment, which is over the past few months, despite not being cleared, Daniel Bryan has been involved in this storyline featuring Shane McMahon, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Now, two weeks ago, no, last, on last week's episode, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn put one hell of a beating on uh, Shane McMahon after he scheduled Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to face each other at WrestleMania. Well, let's just say that type wasn't meant to happen, because for what the rumours were talking it was a shoot attack. Well, maybe they're just putting out to use a shoot attack as a, as to to build onto the, what the storyline is. But in any event, the uh, whole emphasis in WWE, and you would think that superstars would, you would think that superstars would know this by now, that you attack someone 
with the surname McMahon at your own risk. Yes. Even I should know. So, this past Tuesday on SmackDown, after coming out to basically say that he'd been cleared, every doctor had said, you are cleared, ask the fans when he was going to come back, have the fans have a chance of uh, last Almania. I mean, we are so used to being superstars pointing up at the WrestleMania sign, it's not often that we see the fans do it. So, so Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn came to the ring to face Daniel Bryan. Then Daniel Bryan did something which he didn't really want to do and fired Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn which technically makes them free agents in WWE at least that's what it appears at at the moment I mean Kevin Owens has even gone so far much as to even change his Twitter handle on his account but then they proceeded to attack Daniel Bryan himself and I cannot tell you how much I missed seeing Daniel Bryan when he was able to get the physical in return. Now, the the story behind this and the reason we are saying this is because the likely outcome of all of this is probably a tag team match of WrestleMania with Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon teaming up to take on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And with Daniel Bryan being cleared to wrestle, I would say it kind of looks like that in the foreseeable future at least, Smackdown Live will be in the market for a new general manager. Yes, they'll be looking for a new manager. Then again, after what's happened recently on Raw, I would imagine they might be as well. But that's a completely different story. So, that's really it for what we have to say. We would like to say, welcome back to Daniel Bryan. Please do not get concussed one more time because it probably will be the end of your career. Yes. Don't get injured. And would, will you win at WrestleMania? We would like to think yes. 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 So this was a quick little video just to uh, welcome back Daniel Bly and explain what we saw as the backstory and what we think will have possibly happen going forward. And now we shall leave you with the music that will probably get a bigger pop than any at WrestleMania and over the next couple of weeks. That is the Daniel Bryan theme song. Join us in just over two weeks when we bring you the Hall of Fame ceremony. NXT TakeOver. And of course, WrestleMania. Until then, he's been Reese Lock Jones and he's been John Randy Smith, and we will see you in two weeks. <laughs>